Hey Charlotte, I saw your latest video and I just felt compelled to make a video response. Um, not to be chipper or uplifting or anything, just to tell you that I feel you. And I'm sorry that, that you're having those kinds of responses and interactions with people these days. I think there's no call for it and there's no reason for it. Um, and I think that it's just a sad truth that lots of people in this world suck. And the, especially in the dating pool, lots of people really suck. Um, but I don't want you to sort of internalize that. I don't want you to internalize those responses as your fault. Um, a wise person told me once that the, the actions of other people reflect on nobody except themselves. So, like, it's not your fault if people are jackasses. It's them being jackasses. And, in my opinion, they're not worth your time. But, like, I've been to that place of just complete hopelessness with dating. Um, it's just, it's just an awful place to be. And, um, you know, I spent two years in Denmark trying to find a girlfriend and, uh, didn't really have any success until I had completely given up on the entire prospect. Just like, fuck this. I'm done with this. I'm leaving. I'm not going to find anyone here. The girls are not queer enough in Denmark for me, and um, so I'm just gonna try to find a place that's got more gay, gay and lesbian women. Um, and um, after I had sort of given up, that was when the perfect woman came along for me, and um, you know she found me. And I, it came at the most um, unexpected and sort of inconvenient time because I started establishing a relationship with this person when I knew I was not going to be living in that part of the world for very much longer. And um, so I guess with that in mind, even if it gets better, it doesn't really get any easier. So... I don't know, I guess I would, I would try to suggest, um, for you being really upset and for anyone else upset that, that, it, that is upset by the dating experience as trans, is just try to be, the, try to be more critical <laughs> than they are because, you know, nobody's perfect and, um, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of things about anyone that you potentially, that you meet to potentially date that's going to piss you off. Or you're just going to really just severely dislike. And if people severely dislike that you're transgender, then fuck them. Because, I mean, what, what a stupid thing. What a stupid thing to dislike. Maybe my perspective is just skewed because I've been living in the trans world for so long, but... And I live in a pretty, um, pretty, pretty liberal place, pretty open-minded place now, but... I mean, I'm getting to the point where, you know... Second-class treatment based on gender status is just something that's not acceptable to me. And the moment someone starts being rude to me or being different to me because I'm transgender is when we need to have a discussion about, okay, what the fuck is going on here? Or I just need to say, all right, this was a nice experiment, but I don't think this is going to work because you're too weird that I'm trans, so bye-bye. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I think the only thing that matters is that you do what makes you happy, and if that means keep keeping trying to date, if you keep trying to date, then, then good luck, and if you give up for a while and find other things to occupy your time, 
that's awesome. And if you need to chat with someone, um, there are lots of people you, you can chat with. So, um, no, I just hope that things turn around and that you finding more happiness and more success because you deserve it and you're a great person and you're beautiful and um, you know I think anyone should be should be happy to be dating a person like you um, and just briefly before I go I just wanted to mention you know a reply to your comment about not even fitting into LGBT spaces and just sort of echo that I really felt uncomfortable in lesbian spaces for the longest time. Lesbian bars um, and like, you know, lesbian parties um, for like pride events like the girl parties. I always felt really, really like I didn't belong, like I was an imposter. Um, and it wasn't until I, I sort of entered this relationship with my current girlfriend um, that I really started to feel that that was different, that now I had had an experience of dating a woman as a woman and two women loving each other. And that's really what a lesbian is. And suddenly, having known that, that this had happened to me, I... I, I'm now extremely comfortable in lesbian spaces, and it's like I don't have to... It's like I'm not trying to prove my femaleness to anyone. I'm not trying to prove my lesbianness to anyone. I don't have to hide that I'm trans. I don't have to be ashamed that I'm trans. Yeah, I'm a woman that has sort of alternative physical parts to herself, but I'm still a woman, and I've experienced, I've experienced lesbian love and intimacy the same as any of the other lesbians in that room. So, I don't know. I think you're doing great. And um, I don't think you need any advice from me. Uh, I guess I've given some anyway, but no, I don't think you need it. I'm just telling you to make myself feel better. Because um, I got sad when I saw your video. So, I want to say hi. And that, you know, you have lots of people here that, that think you're great. And... Who knows, maybe one of them wants to be in a relationship with you. It's nice to be idolized, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for now. Love and take care, and I will catch you around the internets. Bye everyone else. Bye!